Hi, this is Dave Clemens with Sparked here in the Dallas, Texas area. As we know, uh, all the tornadoes that have hit recently that have really devastated many areas. I'm talking to one of the contractors here that said that there's an area. Sir, how long have you been working uh, doing this? Uh, last three days. Last three days? Okay. Uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of going through, looking at some different things. Um, do you think they're going to be here another week or so, or probably oh, yeah. months? Months. Months. There's not been one fatality, not one, that has even uh, that we know of so far, but really they've already done a, um, an assessment that there have been nine tornadoes that have touched down here uh, over that night, uh, which was uh, Sunday night. So as I continue to walk and continue to see all the devastation. And my mother's home is in the neighborhood that was affected by the tornado, and her home was damaged. She's 90 years old, and I was living with her. She's disabled, and um, the neighbors came right away and were knocking on the door after the storm hit to make sure that we were okay, and we were. I had her in the closet with pillows on top of her. She was quite a sight, but she was a brave person, and that's the second tornado she's been through. She went through one when she was a little girl in her grandmother's grocery store in Joplin, Missouri, so she had some experience, and um, Anyway, we got the uh, agent, the um, State Farm agent, Mr. Jason Ruiz, came and got us the next morning in his car, and we got her in the wheelchair and out of the house and over to my home in Plano. We got to move there's a car, <laughs> and um, she's fine, and I'm fine, and um, working with the uh, insurance company to try and uh, get the house uh, to the point where we can get her back in. And so it's been a good experience as far as the neighbors and the insurance agent and everyone has been helpful. And um, we're just, thank God, no one got hurt. As you can see all the devastation, you can see everything. We've been from house to house, tree to tree, limb to limb, car to car, and seen tons of stuff going on here. I am here with, um, sir, what is your name? Ron Evans. Hi, Ron Evans. He's uh, from, uh, where are you from, sir? Um, I'm, I, I work here in Richardson. I'm with First Baptist Richardson. I'm one of the mission pastors. So, Ron, do you have that are working with you here? So, uh, we partner with, uh, mainly with Texas Baptist Men, and I'm oh. sure you've heard of them. Yes, sir. They're, uh, you'll see them out here in the yellow shirts okay. and things like that. Um, we partner mainly with them. We've probably got 100 people on the ground right wow, now. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Is this the first time you guys have ever done anything like this? Uh, the first time our church has, okay. Texas Baptist Men, they travel all over the United States okay. doing this. I have seen Red Cross bringing snacks and things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, have you seen, uh, they've been also supportive. It's just the necessities of water, uh, you know, snacks, food to, to try and get these people while you guys are helping them as well or no? Yeah, we've seen a little bit of that okay. uh, from different organizations. We actually set up, one of our church members lives over on uh, Still Meadow, uh, 518 Still Meadow, and we actually set up a hospitality area right in her front wow, yard because her great. house wasn't touched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we set up, that we've been grilling nuts. and cooking and that all is, that kind of that stuff for great, the past couple man. of days. So You're doing a wonderful job.